and welcome my friends to a new episode of Kids Trivia. Today we are going to have a new competition and two new teams and a new theme. And today our theme is more miracles. Let's first start by introducing our teams. And let's start by this team. What's your name and how old are you? Hi, I'm Marina Aziz and I am nine years old. Hi, my name is Abu Nubu and I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is Marola and I'm 10 years old. Hi, my name is Carlos Marco and I'm 10 years old. Good to have you today. What about this team? What's your name and how old are you? My name is Mark and I am 10. Hi, my name is Jessica Mikhail and I am 12. Hi, my name is Mark and I'm 10. Hi, I'm Myrna and I'm 11. Good to have you today. And now I'm gonna ask each team to choose a name for, your, for their teams. And I'm gonna give you 50 seconds. Start. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Okay, Marola. St. Marina. St. Marina. And what about this team? Mark? St. Mary. St. Mary? Okay, so we have St. Marina and St. Mary. Are you ready for the competition? Yes! Okay, let's start. And the first question is for St. Marina. And the question is, when Jesus called his first disciples, he made this miracle. A, he calmed the storm. B, he healed a lame man. C, the catch of fish. D, he healed a blind man and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Marina. Um, we think the answer is C. C? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see if it's C. Okay, so one day Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee. And over there he saw some fishermen washing their nets. And they were so disappointed. You know why? Because they spent all night trying to catch fish and they were really disappointed because they caught nothing, absolutely nothing. So they were disappointed. So Jesus went to them and felt that they were disappointed, so he wanted to make them feel better. So he told them, why don't you go back into the sea and throw your net one more time? So those three fishermen, they were actually not convinced, but they trusted the Lord and they wanted to do according to his word. So they went into the sea and they threw their net. Do you know who were these disciples? They were the first disciples Jesus chose. They were Peter, James, and John. And this was the first miracle Jesus did when he met his first disciples. They caught a lot of fish and their nets were almost torn because of this much amount of fish. So the answer is C, correct answer. So now St. Marina scored one point and the second question is for St. Mary. And the question is, when Jesus went to Simon's home, he healed in his mother-in-law from leprosy, high fever, blindness, or paralysis, and you have 50 seconds. Twenty-five seconds left. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, Mark. Um, D. D. Paralysis. Are you sure? Okay. Let's see if the answer is D. So one day Jesus was with his disciples in the synagogue. They were praying and probably they were fasting on that day because when they go to the synagogue, they don't eat until they finish praying. 
After they finished, and Jesus finished teaching in the synagogue, Simon Peter invited them to, the, to his house to go and eat something. So they went all together to the house and they found Simon's mother-in-law, which means the mother of his wife. She was sick, she was really sick. She couldn't even move. So they asked Jesus to heal her. So Jesus stood beside her and he rebuked the fever. And at once, immediately, she was healed. And she even got up and started to serve them food and drinks. So he healed her from high fever. The answer is B. Wrong answer. But you still have more chances to win. So now the score for St. Mary is still zero, while St. Marina scored one point. And the next question is for St. Marina. And the question is, Jesus healed a woman who had been crippled for 18 years. The leader of the synagogue was upset because Jesus healed her inside the synagogue on a Sabbath. He healed her and left the other sick people. Or he healed her without taking his permission. And you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Okay, Abanou. Um, it's B. On a Sabbath? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So one day, Jesus was in the synagogue. And he was teaching as usual, and all the people were listening to him. And then there was a woman came to him. She was crippled. She, her back was bent forward. She couldn't walk properly. If you try to bend forward for like one minute, you're gonna get tired. And this woman has been crippled for 18 years. She was so tired and so much in pain. And her only hope was Jesus. So she went to him and she told him, please heal me. So Jesus touched her and she was healed. Her back straightened and she started walking normally and she was freed from her pain. Now everybody was happy about this miracle and everybody was praising God, except for the leader of the synagogue, because he thought, you have six days in the week. Why heal her on a Saturday? We're supposed to be resting on Saturday because we don't work on Saturday. But Jesus didn't think which day is it of the week. He just fe felt pity for this lady and he wanted to heal her and free her from her pain. So this leader of the synagogue was upset because Jesus healed this woman on a Sabbath, on a Saturday. The answer is B, correct answer. So now St. Marina scored two points. While St. Mary is still with no points, and let's see the next question for St. Mary. And the question is, when Jesus raised Jairus' daughter from the dead, he took only three disciples with him. They were Peter, James, and John, Matthew, Thomas, and Nathaniel, Peter, Andrew, and James, or Peter, Matthew, and Thaddeus, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, Jessica. A. A, Peter, James, and John? Are you sure? Positive. Okay. So one day Jesus was walking, and as usual, the crowds were following him. And this man came and he was so sad because his daughter was very sick and she was dying. So he came to Jesus and he told him, please come put your hand on my daughter so that she might be healed and she's not gonna die. So Jesus felt sorry for him as usual. He feels sorry for everybody who is sick or everybody who is sad. So he went with the man 
And on their way to their house, all the crowds were following them. And they were surprised when two people came from Jairus' house and they told him, there is no need to bother the master anymore because your daughter is already dead. So the man was really shocked and he was so sad. But Jesus comforted him and told him, don't worry, just have faith. Everything is possible if you ask from Jesus with faith. And he went to his house and he found the daughter lying on her bed and she wasn't talking, she wasn't doing anything. And everybody was crying and weeping. It was complete sadness and misery in this house. And then Jesus took only with him three disciples. Only three disciples witnessed this miracle. And he held her hand and he told her, daughter, get up. And immediately she got up and she walked and he told her, he told them, get her something to eat. So in this house, Jesus converted this misery to complete happiness and joy. And only three disciples saw this miracle. These three were Peter, James, and John. The answer is A, correct answer. So now St. Mary scored one point and St. Marina scored two points. And the next question is for St. Marina. And the question is, on his way to Jairus' home, Jesus healed another woman who has been bleeding for 12 years, 18 years, 38 years, or 32 years, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Okay, Marola. Um, B, 18 years. B, 18 years? Are you sure? She's been bleeding for 18 years? Okay. Let's see how many years. So, when Jairus called Jesus, Jesus was walking, and as he was walking, as usual, the crowd didn't leave him. They followed him wherever he goes. So, a lot of people were following him and there was this woman who has been sick. She had this sickness. She has been bleeding for a very long time. And she spent all her money on doctor's visits and instead of getting better, she got worse and she lost all her money. So it was a complete disaster for her. So one day she heard about Jesus and she saw him walking among the crowd and she, this was her only hope. She, she, she tried to go through the crowd to reach for Jesus, but she only touched his cloak. She couldn't even touch him or talk to him. She just touched his cloak and she had faith and in just that she touched his cloak, she's gonna be healed. And as soon as she touched his cloak, her bleeding stopped and she was completely healed. But the amazing thing was that Jesus stopped and said, who touched me? Which was strange. All his disciples told him, Jesus, you're surrounded by thousands of people. Everybody's pushing against you. Everybody wants to approach you and come near you. And you're, at, and you're saying, who touched me? Everybody's touching you. So Jesus said, no, there was a miracle that happened now, and I want to know who touched me. So this woman knew that he was talking about her, and she told him, Lord, I did. So he told her, as usual, Jesus is so humble. He never says, I healed you. He says, your faith has healed you. And he was so happy by her faith, and he was, she was very happy because finally she got freed of her disease. This woman has been diseased, has been bleeding for 12 years. The answer is A, wrong answer. Wrong 
but she still have more chances to win. So now the score is two points for St. Marina and one point for St. Mary. And the next question is for St. Mary. And the question is, when Jesus came into the region of the Decapolis, he healed a man who was deaf and mute, blind, deaf, deaf and blind. And you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, Mark. A, deaf and mute. Deaf and mute? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Now, the region of the Decapolis. Sounds like a hard word, but it's not really that hard. The word Decapolis means the 10 cities. So those 10 cities, each, each city had its, had its own name, but all together were called the region of the Decapolis. So, this was a new place that Jesus was visiting because we're used to him visiting Jericho, Jerusalem, Nazareth, but this was a new place. And as you know, as soon as Jesus enters a new place, the people hear that he's visiting, so they rush to him and they bring all the sick people to him to heal them. So, as Jesus entered this region, some people brought to him a sick man. And this man was deaf and mute. The answer is A, correct answer. So now the score is two points for St. Mary and two points for St. Marina. The score is tied. And the next question is for St. Marina. And the question is, the centurion told Jesus not to go to his house to heal his servant because his servant died already. The house was too far. Jesus was healing others. He didn't deserve. And you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, Krolos. D? D, he didn't deserve. Okay, let's see. So one day, Jesus was walking and he found that some people came to him and those people were sent by a centurion. Let's see first, what does the word centurion mean? Centurion is a Roman soldier who is responsible for a hundred Roman soldiers. Because in the army, they always divide the soldier in hundreds and each hundred soldiers are leaded by one centurion. So, so this man was one of great authority and he was really a good man. He sent some people to Jesus asking him, to say something or heal his servant because his servant was very sick and he was dying. And this man was so loving that he cared for all his servants. And this servant was one of his favorites. So he sent those people to Jesus and asked him, please come and heal my servant. So Jesus was going to his home. But on the way, he sent the people again and they asked Jesus, they told him that the centurion is saying, Lord, you don't have to come to my home. You just have to say one word. And this one word, no matter where you are, if you say this one word, my servant will be healed. So this man had great faith and Jesus really loved this faith in this man. So he wanted to heal this servant. And he said one word, and this servant was really healed. You know why the centurion told Jesus not to come to his home? Because he thought that he didn't deserve that a good man like Jesus visit his house. The answer is D, 
correct answer. So now St. Marina scored three points and St. Mary scored two points. And the next question is for St. Mary. And the question is, Jesus raised a widow's son from the dead in a town called Nain, Cana, Capernaum, or Joppa, and you have 50 seconds. Are you done? Yes. Okay, uh, Myrna? See Kepper now? Are you sure? Okay, let's see. So, one day Jesus was entering a new town. And as usual, all the crowd were following him. But when we when he was entering this new town, he noticed that there was a young man carried dead by some people. And his mother was crying so bad because his mother was a widow. You know, a widow doesn't, her husband, it means that her husband died. So she lost her husband and now she lost her son. So can you imagine how much she was so sad and she was miserable? So Jesus, when he saw, when he saw this lady, he felt pity for her. And he went to her and he told her, "Not don't cry and I'm gonna raise your son from the dead. And he touched the beer, he touched the, the young man who was, who was dying, who was actually was dead. And this man immediately stood and started walking. And he, Jesus gave him back to his mother. And again, Jesus turned all this misery into happiness and joy. So this miracle took place in a town called Nain. The answer is A. Wrong answer. So now St. Mary scored two points and St. Marina scored three points. Unfortunately, this was our last question. Thank you very much for being with us today. I want to thank both teams. I want to thank all our friends, brothers and sisters at home who are watching us. Have a blessed week and see you next time with more to know with Kids Trivia.